finalist is Erica Onuga from English. She's going to talk about when forced labor leaves no time to parent. <laughs> Imagine if you're one of the 40% of Americans who works a non-traditional job with unpredictable hours, and you have kids. What are your child care options? For many parents, the only option is a 24-hour daycare, a fast-growing segment of the child care industry. Even the most ambitious plan for child care that only focuses on affordability will still exclude these workers who also need flexible daycare hours. Childcare is just one example of the often invisible ways that working conditions can influence or even dictate parenting decisions. But what happens when people are forced to work and have zero control over their working conditions? We don't have to wonder because we know from the studying American slavery. In my research, I try to understand how slave mothers describe finding time to nurture their kids despite being forced to work incessantly with days that often began before dawn and ended after dusk before they went home to perform even more domestic work. In the first person account that I study in slave narratives, I found that slavery actively prevented slave mothers from providing the maternal care they so desperately wanted to give to their children. Specifically, I found that slavery created a kind of competition for the times of slave mothers. On the one hand, they had to work as much as humanly possible or face near certain horrific physical violence. At the same time, they tried to find hidden moments to nurture and care for their children. In just one example, a slave mother was forced to breastfeed her baby and her mistress's baby simultaneously. When there were concerns about the mistress's baby getting sufficient milk, the slave mother was forced to prematurely wean her own child. So when her role as a forced laborer conflicted with her role as a mother, she had to ignore the needs of her own baby. Now my research into the unique ways that gender and motherhood affected the narrated laboring time of slaves is a vastly understudied area. Although time in African American studies is a vastly growing subfield in English, most studies focus exclusively on the experiences of slave men. Now, my research is among the first to look at the experiences of women and mother, and hopefully I can rectify some of this gender disparity, which will lead to more thorough, well-balanced research. But more broadly, my research shows just how much influence working conditions can have over personal life decisions. And while absolutely nothing can compare to the horror of slavery, studying the brutal effects of slavery on individuals and families will hopefully lead to less judgment of individuals whose life circumstances may be dramatically different than our own. Like the working families living in homeless shelters in tent cities across America, or the working families who rely on 24-hour daycares to keep their jobs. This research may inspire more empathy for and dialogue with the most vulnerable and marginalized families in our communities, and that's what leads to better, more effective policy decisions. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.